So uh, this uh, is called um, scientific notation. And in scientific notation, uh, so I'll write it here. Scientific notation. So in scientific notation, it's when you have real big or real small numbers. And uh, and you have to convert them so they're, they look a little bit more manageable. So, for example, you know, if you're describing, I don't know, let's say how many atoms are in a uh, a pinch of salt or something, you know, and the number is uh, some really big number to be estimated, let's say something like this, you know, I don't know what the real number is, but if that's the number of atoms or something, uh, you know, either like, how do you write this down in a science paper that makes it look a little bit smaller, especially if they get way bigger than this? Uh, what do you do? So, um, what you do is this. So, if the, so now we're going to go big to, first off, I, actually what we're doing is we're going regular numbers, we'll just call them regular, to scientific notation, we'll just call it SN for now, okay? And uh, so we're going to go regular to scientific notation, and right now we're going to go big to sm to big numbers. So I'll just say big number. We're going to take big numbers, okay? So we're going to go regular to scientific notation. Here's a regular number, and we're going to take a big number and go s to scientific notation. So step one is you're going to find the decimal place. If there wasn't one, we lay it down, and then we just count how many times we have to move the decimal place, and we always move it one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We always move it so that when you move the decimal place, that you have one single digit here, and that digit could be a one, a two, a three, all the way up to a nine. So we want one digit, and then a decimal place. So two point, and then we write down all the other non-zeros. Two, two. These are all zeros, so we drop them. So we're going to go to 2.22, and then we go times 10 to a certain power. And it's how many times did we move it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we moved it 12 times, and that's the answer. That's all there is to it. So really quick recap. We locate a decimal place. If there's not one, we lay it down at the end where it should be. And then we move it, move it, move it, move it, until all the way until there's only one number to the left side of the decimal. So here's the decimal place, one single number on the left side of it. When Once we're done, we write down all the non-zeros. So we put them right here, okay? And then we say times 10 to the how many times we move the decimal place. And that's it. So let's do the same thing. We're gonna go regular number to a, to a scientific notation number, but this time we're gonna do a small number, okay? And it's not too much different, to be honest with you. <clears throat> so, let's say the number is really small. 0 0.000753. So, let's say this is the size of my cat's brain. You know? Just kidding. <laughs> um, so, um, so, here's a really small number. And uh, we're going to go from this regular number and make it into scientific notation. So step one is the same as before. We locate the decimal point. There it is. Step two, we move it. One, two, three, four, five. So that the new decimal place, so we move it so that there's one digit and then a decimal place. So in other words, there's one digit to the left of the decimal place. Same as before. The only thing is we were going this way, of course. But notice I move, move, move until I have one digit, and that digit has to be to the left of the decimal. Then we write down the non-zero, 7.53. So we write down the non-zeros right here. And then we say times 10 to how many times did we move it? One, two, three, four. Did I do that right? One, two, three, four. Yep, five. So we moved it five times. The only difference is we're putting negative. That's how somebody, when a scientist sees this number, they're going to know that this is a really small number right away because they see the negative there. So as soon as they, as soon as they see that negative, they're going to go, oh, this is a small number, you know? And so, um, and then you can write it out like that. So that that's all there is to it. So we have big numbers and we have small numbers, you know? Uh, the only difference is 
almost the rules are the same. You Step one, you find the decimal place, or if there's not one, put it down. Move it, move it, move it, move it, until you have a decimal place and one single number to the left of it. Then write down the non-zeros right here, and then put times 10 to the how many times you moved it. Same thing here. We move, we take find the decimal place, move it, move it, move it, move it. This time we have to move it to the right to get to the number. And we, we move it so that there's one single digit to the left of the decimal place. Um, and then we write down the non-zero numbers, all of them right here. We write it down right here. And then we put times 10 to how many times we moved it. The only difference between the last one is that we put a negative here to show that we went backwards. In other words, it was a small number. That's all. All right, next step. How do we go from scientific notation to regular numbers, right? So like a regular value. So let's go with the scientific notation. Let's go with uh, 3.24 times 10. That's a 4 right here. Let me clear that up. Times 10 to the, let's put 7th power. So if we have to make this, so we're starting with big. Let's do a big one right here. So we already know this is a big number. How do we know? That's a positive, right? That 7 a positive. That's not a negative 7. That's a positive 7. So we know this is going to be a big number, like, you know, a million or 3 million or 4 million. Or, 3 million or 300,000 or something, right? It's going to be big. So step one, write down, oh, sorry. Let me actually just undo that. Step one is we write down these numbers, 3.24, okay? Write down these numbers here. Step two, move your decimal place to the right seven times because we you know we're going to make this a big number so just if you can't remember right or left i never remember it like that i don't go positive exponent right here means move to the right i don't remember that i just see positive exponent and i know that this is a big number and to make it big i go over here if i make it small it's going to be point zero zero something so i know that's going to go this way so one two three four five six, seven. I'm going to put it right here. We fill these in with zeros and we're done except you know we obviously you should always rewrite it. So let's rewrite it. Three, two, four, one, two, three, four, five zeros, right? One, two, three, four, five, zero. So remember this number is not how many zeros there are. There's not seven zeros. We're moving the decimal place seven times. This one happens to have five zeros. So the decimal place technically is there, but you don't have to write it on a big number. And if you want to put commas, you can. Uh, one here, every third one, right? So put one here, put one here. So this is 32,400,000. So that's our answer. And lastly, our last example. Oops, I ran out of space. Let's just get an eraser. How about that? I have an eraser here somewhere. Hard eraser right here. Uh, and I need a big one. There we go. All right. So lastly, let's we're going to go uh, small. So so we're still going scientific notation to regular, but we're going to do a small number. So let's just make up a small number. We'll say 1.38 uh, times 10 to the third, but negative, right? Because I, I said I'm going to do a small number. So if we put a negative there, that means it's a small number. So let's do this. First step is we write that down right here. So let's go 1.38. Next step is we're going to move the decimal place three times. But remember, negative, we're going to move it this way because negative means it's a small number. So it's going to be 0.0 something, right? So let's go three times. One here, two there, and three there. So the decimal place is going right there. It was here, and we moved it one, two, three times, just like it says. And so let's put zero, zero, and that's it. We moved one to get past this number, and then zero, zero. So there's only two zeros. So don't think, oh, three zeros. No, that, the decimal place is moving three times. So let's rewrite the number as you always should. Don't, don't, don't show your answer like this. So 0 0.00138 is the answer. If you want to put a zero here, you can. It doesn't really matter. And that's the answer. Now, there are more specific rules I can dive down into, but this is pretty much the basics of how to do, you know, regular numbers to scientific and scientific to regular. And that should get you pretty much all your answers. And 
they might not be perfectly right, but as long as you follow these rules, they'll be right enough for me today. Okay?